Hey guys, it's Colin from the Dynamic Beaver, and I'm really excited to show you a really cool plugin called Genesis Dam Buster. Now, yes, it's got Genesis in the title, so that basically tells you it's for Genesis child themes. So if you're a Genesis child theme user, this is going to be a really useful plugin for you to have to use on, I think, pretty much most of the Genesis child themes, and it enables you to do a whole bunch of really useful things by clicking boxes and no code required. You don't have to go and do any edits to code to get a whole bunch of useful features. Now, one of the most useful features in this plugin is the ability to make the Genesis child theme go full width, and that's edge to edge for Beaver Builder pages. Um, and that's been an issue in the past because some of the Genesis themes, they, they use different code to do that. And sometimes you have to go in and, and change that from a code point of view. But as the whole point of the Dynamic Beaver is to try and show you how to do things without code, in comes the Genesis Dam Buster. So it's a free plugin that you can download from the WordPress repository and plugins, and I'm right here. I'll include a link at the bottom here. And I'm going to actually just go ahead on over and demonstrate what this does. I think that's probably the best way to show you. Here we go. So what I've got right now is I've got a demo site set up here. Some of you might have recognized in the past. It's actually on a Beaver Builder theme right now. And as you can see, the header is going full width right away across. So we've got this image directly below, which is going from edge to edge. And then we get back down to our content here. The background of this is going edge to edge. The content is restricted between here and here. It's about 1100 pixels, but the background is actually stretching right across the edge. And if we go right down to the bottom there, we've got this other image here on the footer that goes from edge to edge. And then the footer itself actually goes edge to edge. So everything's edge to edge. And those can be set up in the Beaver Builder page builder itself to, to go edge to edge. But on Genesis themes, you'll find that most of the time that don't have that edge to edge functionality and you'd have to go in and edit the code. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and actually activate a Genesis theme. So I'm going to go to appearance themes and I'm going to actually click on daily dish pro theme and activate that. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So that's activated. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go actually do a quick change on it because the uh, actually, you know what? Let's have a look at this. So I'm going to refresh this page and you'll notice that, first of all, I won't have the full width and the header and everything's changed. But I'm not too worried about what the header looks like right now. You see that image, it's just gone to the width here. Now, the problem with this page is I've only got this width of page and I've got a sidebar here. So one of the first things we can do is actually remove the sidebar. So what I'm going to do is actually go to Edit Page. Now, I'm going to actually go down here and change this to a full width there. There we go, you see the setting here? That's uh, got no sidebars and that would be the full width. I'm also gonna look in here and see if there's an option for full width. And there isn't, there's an archive page, there's a blog page and there's a landing page. Now the landing page essentially will, will remove the, the header and the footer. So I'm just gonna leave that at default template and click on update. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna view the page again. And this time I'll have my full width. There we go. But as you can see, I'm restricted by you know, the page. I'm not going from edge to edge here. So normally what we would have to do if you're using a Genesis theme is you'd have to go into the actual style sheet and pull out what the inner div elements are and then actually make some changes to that. Now, as I said, before, there's some slight differences between the different child themes. So it's not always the same and you can create a quick, a quick fix for it. But anyway, I have the the new solution for you and I'm going to head on over there. So this is a page. I'm going to head into my Genesis settings now. You'll see there's an extra one down here it's, and it's called Dam Buster version 1.2. So hopefully you've downloaded that and activated it. Once you've done it, you'll only see this if you actually are using a Genesis child theme, by the way. You won't see it if you're using any other type of framework. So I'm going to click on Dam Buster. I'm going to go through some of the settings here. So these are the global settings that you can set for the whole site. And essentially, if I set these on in, in this particular dialogue here, they will default to on in the pages and posts on an individual basis. So essentially, from that point on, they'll be default. You'll, you create a new page or a new post, and they will default to the settings that I have in here. So right now, we've got, first of all, template width. So, so full width page is not selected. I'm going to go across here and just explain. So if we actually highlight that, it will make the pages full width. 
the header section, we can remove the actual header, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. We can also remove the, the two navigations or the menus, okay, the primary and then the secondary uh, menu locations. Above content's interesting. We've got a few options here. So, you know, sometimes you get those built-in breadcrumbs on the Genesis themes and you can't remove them very easily. We've got an option right here to remove that. The post title or the page title will be re removed if you click on this one. So that gets left behind sometimes. Remove the post image. Sometimes there's, a, there's an image associated with the post. Okay. So we can also remove any entry header here. Now, the entry header is, is usually some extra text that's attached to the t page title. Let's have a look here. Remove the header markup around the page title. There we go. So uh, you can remove that. Remove the post info. That'll be the, the author, the date, and all that kind of stuff. Another one that's really useful. And then remove the edit link that appears when you're logged in. So if you don't want the edit link to appear, you can actually remove that there. Below the content, pretty much the same thing. The remove entry footer, okay, so the footer that's attached to the bottom of the page or your bottom of that particular page, not the site. Don't get them confused. Remove the post meta, uh, so there's categories and tags and stuff like that. The author box, you can remove. You can also remove the comments and also remove the after entry widget area. So that's an area in a Genesis theme or, or some Genesis themes. It's not there all the time. The footer, you can remove the footer and you can also remove footer widgets. So in some themes, there's some uh, widgets in the footer. You can remove those. The background, some of the Genesis themes come with a background image. The one I actually have has a background image and we can show you how to remove that. And then this last one over here, if you're not actually using the Beaver Builder page builder, then your page builder would need to have uh, some different settings. And essentially you can set the max width, uh, content width here, also some padding, but then you have to actually call div class called inner in your HTML. And it shows you an example here on the page, but that's only for people that are not using Beaver Builder. If you're not using Beaver Builder, you should be. It's the best page builder out there for sure. Anyway, so I'm going to leave all of these off and so that we don't have any interference from Genesis Dan Buster on any of our pages or posts as it stands right now. And then what I'm going to do is I will go to a page and we'll make some changes there. So let's go on over to a page. Actually, let's just save our changes. I didn't make any changes, but let's just make sure we did. I'm going to go to pages and then on my pages, I'm going to have my home page here. So I'm going to click on that. And I could have done this from, from the admin bar at the top there on the actual page. But what I'm going to do is then scroll down here and you'll see that you have a new section down here. Okay. And this is essentially the same as what you saw in the, the actual admin panel of Genesis there. And first of all, we've got this enable tweaks. So it's a nice, nice one at the beginning there actually, because if you've got tweaks, you know, defaulted across from the main master settings, then you might not want them on the page, on some pages. And rather than go through and tickle those boxes off individually, you can just enable default all of them off at the same time. So I'm going to enable the tweaks, okay? And I'm going to go to the next one, template width. Now I'm going to set this to the full width, okay? And I'm going to actually scroll up here and click on update. Now remember this page over here. It's not full width, remember? We're restricted by the content. If I press F5 on my keyboard, okay, and click to refresh this page, you'll notice that magically we go to full width. Look at that. That was just really a quick plugin and a quick setting. No code at all. And if I scroll down, you'll see that everything's gone to full width. So the backgrounds and everything else is done. Isn't that awesome? It is really, really good. Now, here's, a, here's an example of, of where the Dam Buster comes in handy as well. See, I've got this here as a page title. Now, that's also another bit of custom CSS I would have to add to my theme to remove that. But here's, here's a quick solution on that one. So let's go back to our page settings down here. And you'll see that we come across to the header here. I, I've got the primary header up there. I'm going to leave it there for now. So it's not the header setting we want. It's the above content setting we want. And first of all, I've got this remove post title. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to save my settings. Update. Okay. And if we go back to that page and refresh it again, F5. There we go. We've got rid of the page title. Now, one thing I didn't actually do is I didn't set my menu here. So I'm going to go to my menus and just set my menu on the theme. And we're going to put the primary menu over here. So I'm going to add my primary menu here just to show you the, another feature of the Genesis Dan Buster. And then I'm going to go back to my page, which was the home page there. And we are here. There we go. I'm going to view that page. Now, if I want to get rid of this menu that I've just managed to put in there. 
all I've got to do is go back to that edit page, okay, and down here I'm going to go to the header section and I'm going to uh, remove primary nav. I happen to know that's the primary navigation on this particular thing, but let's click on that update, go back to our demo page, quickly refresh, and you'll notice that the menu is now being removed. Isn't that cool? So the menu is actually there, but I've just removed it that coming through the Genesis loop. Let's just say we've, we have a landing page and we want to get rid of this whole header. This is how easy it is. Scroll down to your Genesis Dan Buster settings, we've got the header settings again, and I'm going to remove the whole header. I'm going to click on that, save, or update should I say, and I'm going to go back here, refresh the page, watch this, magic coming up. There's the whole header gone. How useful can that be on single pages in the Genesis theme, where you just want to have a custom homepage and then you know you want your, your menu to pick up uh, on other pages or your navigation to pick up on other pages. So there's lots and lots of things here. I've got the footer down here. You see this, I can actually get rid of that by going doing the same thing on the footer here, remove footer, okay, and update. And if we go back to that page and refresh it, Let's scroll back to the top, but we'll scroll back down. There we go. No footer there at all. Isn't that awesome? So if you've got Genesis and you want to use Beaver Builder on the Genesis, I would recommend heading over to the WordPress repository and downloading Genesis Dan Buster straight away. And get in there, change your settings. As I said, they're, they're pretty good here. I, I can give you a better demo on this another day. Oh, one more thing uh, before I go. The background image. I don't know if you can see on this, but there is a background pattern. Uh, it's going to be very hard to see. But if I go into the settings again, I can actually remove the background settings. Okay, so we're going to click on that and update will refresh now we should get like a clear color now instead of having that yes there we go i don't know if you could see that but there was actually a, a background setting on there so it's gone now but isn't that cool real easy go download the genesis dam buster they've done an awesome job and uh, i can't recommend it highly enough but uh, get you out of trouble when using on genesis child theme so basically any genesis child theme now is beaver builder ready using Genesis Dan Buster. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll be back next week. If you like it, please click on like below or recommend this to your friends. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye.